Ready, we have our eyes on the skies. We want to turn our attention to the forecast this afternoon. Live look from our HD tower cam. Temperatures heading back into the mid 70s today. A lot of people happy about that. We've also got a good bit of sunshine, so a lot of people happy about that as well. Yeah, let's bring a meteorologist Alicia Wilson. Yeah, mm. if you're going to have an eclipse, you need the sunshine to go with it, right? Be yeah, and you need some breaks in the clouds and we finally have that. You know, yesterday it wasn't look, look, looking like we'd see uh, too many breaks in the clouds, but right. it's mostly sunny out there. We do have the high cloudiness. I want to show you the path of totality that stretches from Texas all the way to new, the New England states, really into Maine and it'll be farther north into Canada. But we're looking at about 80% or more of the eclipse across our area for the partial viewing later on this afternoon. And as far as the cloud cover goes, we still see it kind of being kind of poor across the mountains. You can notice that with the red shading there, but good visibility or good viewing expected across the Charlotte metro area. So just keep it right here and we'll keep you posted on what's happening with the latest. But I do want to point out that we have some first alerts in place. The first one's going to be on Tuesday. We have another one on Thursday for the threat of some thunderstorms. There's going to be a low potential for seeing anything strong to severe, but just something to note, especially for tomorrow as we track some rain pushing through along with some gusty winds as well. Here's a live look now. King Street and Boone there. You can see we have a few raindrops on the camera lens and the pavement is wet as they've been dealing with some scattered showers at times and these continue to slowly push on off towards the east. So some isolated to widely scattered showers going to be possible across the mountains for the next hour or two. Then after that clearing out and starting to dry out another live look at our uptown Charlotte camera there. You can see the high cloudiness and this is all because this area of high pressure that gave us the gorgeous weather over the weekend. It's finally started to push farther towards the east, and that's allowing some of that moisture to start to push farther towards the north out of the Gulf of Mexico ahead of this cold front. Still dealing with some wet weather across portions of middle and eastern Tennessee, but it looks like just in time for the eclipse. Here we are around the three o'clock hour later this afternoon that those showers that we're seeing now in the mountains, those will push out and start to dissipate. And from there, we're left with mostly sunny skies across Mecklenburg, County, Iredell County, even into portions of Rowan and Anson counties. Now getting into Tuesday, that's when we have some changes on the way. We'll be tracking a couple of the disturbances pushing through. The first one will be tomorrow. That's going to bring some widespread rainfall for tomorrow afternoon that will taper off to some isolated showers towards the evening hours. So a first alert in place for Tuesday. High still staying into the lower 70s. We're up to 77 on Wednesday, 76 for Thursday with some thunderstorms and finally started to clear out by Friday. It'll be breezy and cooler with a high of 70.